getting results. We first told you about the Ease app about a year ago. It's a tool hospitals are using to send photos and video clips securely, like a text. And as News 6 Morning anchor, anchor Kirsten O'Connor shows us, the app was put to the test during Hurricane Irma, and it is getting results. It's no secret. New parents can't get enough of their newborns. Hey, can I say hi? But as Wendy Eddard holds and hugs her son, she tells us she's not just proud, but grateful. It's like from time to time when I look at him, I get flashbacks. For every moment, every breath. Because. It's not what I expected from my son. On July 1st, at just 24 weeks and a little over a pound, Giovanni was born and taken to the neonatal intensive care unit at Winnie Palmer Hospital. It's a hard thing seeing your baby in an incubator and you know that you can't, you can't touch him, you can't comfort him. His first month of life was very hard for him <laughs> because his chances were really low of surviving. But little Giovanni proved to be stronger than anyone thought, even through one of the toughest summers in central Florida. When Hurricane Irma took a path through Florida, the hospital was on lockdown. But you know, the first thought was, I was like, well, I'm not leaving the hospital. I'm gonna be at his bedside. But come to find out, due to protocol, they can't allow that. I think the only saving grace I had was like the Ease app. That's when the app became a lifeline. Nurses caring for babies in the NICU snapped photos and videos during the hurricane to update families waiting out the storm. It just made the day for them. And I think the next morning we took a little video after the hurricane and uh, had him waving and say, Hurricane Irma, what? that was no big deal. But when I saw that and I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, he's saying hi, mom. <laughs> Wendy and Zachary may not have had a say in the plan for their son's first few months, but they sure have a story to tell. We decided, you know, to let him give his story and make his own choice. And because of that, he's still here today. Oh, my goodness. That, I love that. It's just, yes. oh, my goodness. We're told about 10,000 patients are enrolled with the Ease app since Orlando Health started using it about four years ago. We posted more about the app on clickorlando.com. You know, I had a NICU baby myself. So, so you I know, understand. yeah. Yes.